hey guys and welcome back to today's video today i am very excited because today i'm going to be touring the rest of my builds in happy home paradise if you guys watched last week's video um i actually had to cut it into two parts because i have built so many homes that it would have been like an hour long video so i'm cutting it into two parts and this is the second part of the video so the video from last week will be in the description if you want to check that out but today we're just going to be touring the rest of them and i hope you all enjoy it oh this one's cute this one was like a colorful sewing area i really like this one this one might be one of my favorites i literally say that about every other one but this one is very cute and i really like this one a lot so i give this one a good score i like this one a lot Okay, so a little story behind this one. This theme is a yellow cottage. So what I did was I only decorated the right side because I was going to do a roommate one and then put someone else over here that wanted a color home as well. Meaning like if they wanted a home that was all purple, I was going to put them over here. So I'm waiting for that villager to appear. Although the villager that we saw a little a while ago that wanted all of the green home, I may end up putting them in here. So it could be like yellow and green. I don't know. What do we think? But this is really cute. Um, I love these little stars on the wall and this one's cute, but I'm excited to put the another villager over here eventually. Okay, so this one is an indoor swimming pool place and I really, this one's cute. It's simple but it looks like an indoor swimming place so we have like four pools here i like this one and i think it turned out good okay so this one is supposed to be a tropical ocean paradise so what i went for was again kind of like a tropical like maybe like a home you could rent out and it has a patio thing so I did that and it kind of looks like the ocean's off in the distance. So that turned out really cool. And I just love how the o the blues go together. It turned out really good and I really like this one. Ooh, so this one is a fancy party house. So I went for the pink and blue vibe, I'm guessing. And this giant table to have like many people over. And this this uh, room is very pretty too. So just a it must have been Christmas time when I built this one, because there's stockings everywhere. <laughs> but I like this one a lot, and this this is like really pretty. So yeah, I like this one. This this is a really good one. Ooh, very interesting. This one is supposed to be a working vacation home. So I kind of made it like an office and I like this one. It's very simple, but I love the color. The orange wallpaper looks nice. And honestly, nothing interesting, but I like it. And yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would redo it because it's good, but yeah. Okay, so this one is a retro home so i did a lot of yellows and blues and i don't know how i feel about this house it kind of feels crammed so i'm not a big fan but i mean it's not bad i don't know if i built upstairs let's go look i did not there's a chair up here that's all that's up here okay next home oh this one is a schoolhouse this one is very cute. I like this one a lot. And I am very I'm I'm very proud of this one. It's simple, but it's like really cute and I don't know how else I would have done it. So I'm I would like it. Very cute. Whoa, that kind of scared me when I walked in and just saw these things. I don't know why. But this is supposed to be like a lifeguards place. Um I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Okay. I don't know why I did that. I guess I didn't have any ideas. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. First off, I have a problem. When I walk in and don't see a picture on the wall, 
like right here i know i can't put one there because it's not a real wall but like i should have just moved it because it just doesn't look right but whatever so we have the living area this is a hotel room by the way and what the heck is this that's weird i i don't this one's okay it just needs more wall stuff and i just feel like there's not enough stuff on the wall but it's okay it's okay okay so this next one is a photo shoot place but it was specifically a beach i also love about this one is that whenever you walk on the sand it actually makes footprints i love that um but nothing to say about this other than it's just a bunch of beach stuff and you really can't walk around it <laughs> that's about all there is to say about that one okay so this one is for like a dreamy place so kind of like kind of like a fairy core theme is kind of what i was going for um yeah that's all there is to say about it it's nothing interesting i would just say it's very pink and very magical it, it's cute it goes perfect with megan she's the perfect like villager for this home so yeah whoa what is this theme okay so this one is kind of the theme of like if you were throwing like a picnic party and you were grilling and all of that so that's kind of what i went for here um but this has a lot of exterior on it and i like it so let's check out the inside so this is pretty simple kind of just exactly like what's outside um just inside and yeah we're just gonna move on because there's nothing too interesting to talk about okay so this one is supposed to be a chef's kitchen so it's literally just a giant kitchen and i love how i did these um pillars and honestly it's just perfect i love it and it's literally a chef's kitchen and that's all there is to it um yeah also i like this cafe rug but that's literally it okay so this one is a house of cardboard i literally just made a giant cardboard house the best that i could it literally is just cardboard boxes everywhere and that's what he asked for <laughs> so he got what he asked for with literally just a ton of cardboard boxes everywhere so i hope he enjoys it okay so this one is a house for a coffee lover so i kind of just made like a little coffee shop and I think it turned out really cute and simple and it's perfect. Also, I don't know why she's a, wanted a house to be a coffee lover because her colors don't really match. But I don't know. It doesn't matter. But okay, so this one is a place for heroes. I didn't know what to do. So I kind of just saw he had a pink outfit on and was like pink everything, including this sushi bedspread so that's what we went for okay so this one is supposed to be a campground for glamping glamping yes you heard that right so basically just like a what you would have in a tent but in a cabin and nicer so obviously we had to put a bathroom because it's glamping so i think it turned out really good and it's super cabiny i guess um super simple but it's a cabin so what else could you ask for what is happening so this is rodney's movie magic studio and what is happening i guess i just made it like a kid's place out here um what is happening i don't know what's happening Oh, guys, I know why I made the outside of his house look very, like, playgroundy is because Rodney lives on my Aulani Island, and I thought it would be perfect to, because on Aulani, his house is, like, a giant arcade. So, it was, like, it'd be perfect to make the outside reflect that since the inside doesn't. So, that's that, but I guess Rodney has moved on to bigger and better things, and he's a director newsflash so we had to create like a little western city here and i guess rodney sits here and he's the director and he's the boss so yeah 
whoa so this is a recording studio and i just found this pink gaming chair and literally had a moment because that is the cutest chair ever um so i kind of just made a recording studio with a bunch of instruments things like that and this would be like the recording booth thing so it's just super simple and then these you know these were supposed to be like you know people that have made like albums and things like that in this studio i guess i mean i guess this lady that loves dollhouses has recorded an album you know you never know okay so this one is also not done but it's kind of done it's kind of like a boutique so this one's actually really cute and i'm excited to finish it but yeah i think that's everything Okay, guys, and I think that is everything in Happy Home Paradise. That is every home that I have ever built. And yeah, I honestly am very happy with all of them, I guess. There's a few that I don't like, as you have found out. But yeah, I think they're all super cute. And thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure that you like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Link down below. And yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye, guys.